Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So in today's video I want to show you some cool stuff I've been sent by my friend Mark but you'll know him as Mechanic After Hours YouTube channel and if you don't where have you been? So if you don't know the Mechanic After Hours channel which I'll put pictures up of his actual channel and I'll put a link obviously to his channel in the video description as well but I'm sure you subscribed if you if you watch my stuff you are definitely gonna watch him um, yeah his videos are just off the scale in everywhere um, I remember the first time somebody sent me a link to one of his videos this was a long time ago and uh, I, I didn't know the channel so I switched it on and I'm watching In fact I think it was his egress build and uh, I just sat there and watched it and I was like, all right, I've never seen anything like that on YouTube before. It's just incredible. And then um, I messaged a friend back who'd sent me it and I, I remember saying, I said, that is just like watching a professional Formula One pit crew building an RC car. That's how it felt. It's, um, it's so regimented and precise. Precise is the proper word I'm looking for. His his builds are just off the chart. So if you if you don't know this channel, go have a look at it and show him the love because it's incredible. As you can see, he's got he's got tons of videos and there's there's way more than I've just shown you there. Um, that was just a screenshot of his channel. Um, his last video of this thing, I mean, oh my goodness, how nice is that Avanta? Um, yeah, that video is now has has now had over four hundred and seventy thousand views. That's incredible. That is just mind blowing, and that tells its own story on the quality of his video. I would have to, uh, to for me to get that that view count, I would have to do f four months videos at two videos a week to get that figure. Now, the only reason I bring that to you is um, it's because his videos just grab you. It's that, it's just audience, audience retention, as they call it on YouTube. And you kind of put it on, you sit back with your popcorn, and you just enjoy it from start to finish. Anyway, as I said, I'll put a link to his channel. Go subscribe if you haven't already, and go check out his videos. Just go watch that Avanti video, his last one. It'll blow you away. Anyway, so he contacts me, and he says, hello, um... Can I have your address? I've got something I want to send you. So obviously I said, you're sending me that Avanti, aren't you? And he said, no, but he did let me use it on the thumbnail because it's just gorgeous. So he just said, uh, no, he says, you, you put a lot of hard work in with Tammy Legends and what have you. And uh, he just said, I've got some things for you, which I think you might like. So anyway, this big box arrives. And so I'm opening it and there's lots of little goodies in there. So the first thing he sent me is a screwdriver set. And it's a GIS one as well, um, which is really cool because obviously stuff like that comes in mega handy. So that was cool. Um, I then got this. Now, I don't actually know what you call this. Um, and that's because it's not in English. Um, now, it's it's obviously official Tamiya. It's basically a cartoon book. Um, I'll bring the camera over in a bit so you can we can have a close-up of this. But... Um, yeah, it's mega cool, and it's, you see, I like collecting sort of odd Tamiya stuff, you know, not just cars, so that just fits the bill for me perfectly, and um, although I can't read it, I'll definitely go cover to cover with the pictures, because it's just awesome, and then he sent me, all in one box, my first ever Tamiya mini four-wheel drive kit which is mega cool. Now, I know nothing about these because they're not RC, so I've never really looked at them, but I know I know there's a market that, the well, the hobby itself of the four-wheel drive minis is absolutely huge. Um, might even be Tamiya's biggest market, actually. I won't be surprised if it is. So, yeah, we've got a, what we've got, a starter pack, and it's a AR Speed Spec Avanti Aero. <laughs> it's cool. So it's all factory sealed, so I've no idea what's in there, but that's something we can have a look at, which is mega cool. And then he sent me this. And this is just the coolest thing ever. Now, if you know his channel, you'll know why this is so cool. And in particular, why there's a motor, there's a Tamiya Superstock BZ in there. It's not standard. I'm going to show you it in a second. 
the mechanic after hours, it just goes above and beyond and it just it just changes things and just makes things look so much better. Um, the equipment the gentleman's got is just incredible. But yeah, so he's, he's bought a basic, well it's not basic, but he's bought this really cool um, bits box. And then he's created the Tamiya tool spec <laughs> sticker for it. To me, that is just, I mean, it just looks official Tamiya. And again, if you know your Tamiya stuff, you know, with tool spec like add spec or find spec, you know, it's just something that doesn't exist. So it's a complete one-off, which is just absolutely awesome. Now, what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to bring a camera over and we'll show you these, but I'm gonna save the best for last because he sent me something that when I opened it, it absolutely blew me away. So yeah, first up is the Armour Grip GIS screwdriver set. Really cool. It's one of those things that you know, I really didn't expect, but um, obviously it's something I'm really going to use. So as I said, I don't even know what you call this thing, but it's um, it's very cool indeed. Let me just see if I can get the camera and just sort of flick through. It's So yeah, it's a comic, but it actually has... Let me see if I can find. So it actually has the actual cars there in the actual cartoons, which obviously you would expect with it being Tamiya. But, um, and they're all different. It's not like it's just one. That's the Tamiya um, outdoor track facility, isn't it? I just felt, sorry, I should have took him, took page numbers because I saw some other stuff. Look at that. What is that, looking at that? That's, uh, oh, I should know what that is and I don't. Yeah, someone will tell me in the comments what that is. There was another one where I just flicked across. And there was a TB. It does have... Probably not going to better find this now, apologies. No, it's not going to... Anyway, you get the gist of it. Incredibly cool. And for me, as a, as a, a collectible item, that is absolutely superb. And then we have the... What's it called? The Aero Avante AR Speed Spec. No idea what any of that means, but uh, it's bloody cool. Look at that. And you actually have to paint these. I, I didn't know. I, I don't think any tools are required. I think it all snaps together, but you do have to paint the body and um, decal it. There's this. Is hobby wise, this thing is absolutely huge, isn't it? in Japan. I don't know if it's only Japan. But um, yeah, so with it being the starter pack, you get everything in there. So obviously the only thing you do need is the track. But um, yeah, uh, at a later date on this channel, we'll put that together because even though I'll probably never use it, it's, quite a, it's, it's a really cool thing to have as a one-off in the collection. And uh, yeah, I look forward to building that. And then we have this, which is just so cool. And I honestly, it, I'm not just saying it, I was in so bad a need of something like this because as you can imagine, my, my bits are getting out of hand and the way I store the bits are terrible. So yeah, I mean, look at that, look at that sticker he's produced. That is absolutely cock on, I love it. So yeah, if you see this, let me just see if I can put the camera down slightly. So we've got, let me just open this one up first. He's also done the, um, he's done it double sided as well. So when the lid's up, you can see it. Oh, sorry, glare. Um, so I'm gonna save the best to last, but you get, as you can see, let me just put this camera up a little bit so you can see. So you get your little dividers to do as and where you want them. And then these slide out and then you've got massive dividers for the bottom section. So it's going to hold a ton of bits for me. Let me just close this because there is more. I'll just put that handle down now. If you see those two blue things at the bottom, it has even more storage. I've just got to push through with my fingers and it has two of these. I've been actually desperate to make this video so I can start transferring parts across and you've got two of those and as you can see about the size of my hand these are a fair size as well so that apologies for the noise that is going to be absolutely so useful to me so now I've shown it on the video I can actually make it right here we go this is just one of the coolest things I've ever received so obviously we've got a Tamiya Superstock BZ motor. 
But again, if you watch his channel, you know that he does these next level things with his stickers um, and things like that. Let me just make sure, see the best way to take it out. So he's created me my very own Tamiya Legends beat Superstock BZ Mortar. That is honestly one of the coolest things. That is just, I, I'll never run this mortar. That has to go on display. It's funny, isn't it, how something like that is, is kind of basic. You know, it's just, it's a box standard mortar. And he's obviously taken the BZ decal off. And then just created this one. Just absolutely mind-blowing. It's one of the best things I've ever received. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah. Stick in the comments what you think to that, my friends. I was going to fit it in my DBO2 build um, just so it looks cool, but I kind of want it on, on show with the other mortars because um, that is just rather special. So just really cool stuff, I hope you agree. Um, Mark, if you're watching, I honestly, I know I thanked you already personally, but I honestly cannot thank you enough. It's, it's It was so unexpected, and obviously you didn't need to do that, but... Um, yeah, it, it's awesome, and you know, that is, it's all special, but that is, I don't know, that that is very special to my heart, um, so yeah, once again, thank you. So uh, yeah, I'll end this video here, a little bit of a different video today, I know, but um, don't forget, if you don't, if you haven't seen any of um, Mechanic After Hours videos, just go watch that Avanti one, just go, go to his channel and watch that last video. Uh, I would imagine in, in the comments of this video, it's everyone's going to have, have seen his videos. I'd be amazed if someone in the comments said, nope, never seen it. Um, anyway, yeah, as I say, go check it out if you haven't. So, my friends, thanks so much for watching it. It's honestly massively appreciated. If it's the first time you've come across our videos, we do normally have an RC and car in front of us. It's not stuff like this usually. This is a bit of a one-off. Um, but, yeah, if you could give this video a thumbs up, go subscribe, turn all those notifications on. That would be absolutely fantastic and massively appreciated. And as always, my friends, happy RCing.